I wonder how many of us really consider the fact that were it not for one person, one person, we would not be celebrating tonight. Christmas would never have occurred were it not for one person. And you might be thinking, well, that person, of course, is the Lord Jesus Christ. And in a way, that's true. But none of it would have happened had it not been for the willing yes from the glorious, blessed Virgin Mary. She who said yes to God when everything in her conscious being must have been telling her, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> because after all, a woman in those times who became pregnant between the time of betrothal and the wedding was taken out outside the city and stoned to death so that the abomination of her sin would no longer be in the town. Mary is the one that brings us to tonight. And she is to be honored for that. But what does Mary have to say? Well, when she went to visit Elizabeth, she said some things that are in the Gospel of Luke. She said, my soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has done great things for me. Sometimes I wonder, does our soul magnify the Lord, or do we magnify ourselves? Do we proclaim the greatness of the Lord our Savior, or do we proclaim the greatness of ourselves? These are important questions because we are followers of Christ. We are Christians. And my sisters and brothers, these are troubling times for Christians, especially in this culture that we live in where you can say anything you want except in the public square you should not speak the name of Jesus. You know, I was in Bel Air over the last few days and I happened to go by the, the area where it's at the police department and they have a holiday you know, display out there. And it's lovely, they have snowmen, they have all other kinds. One thing I noticed that they have is they have a gigantic menorah. I have no problem with a menorah. I think it's a beautiful symbol of our Jewish friends. But the one thing that you will not see in any public display is any symbol of our Christian faith. We are under attack as Christians. And there is a movement going on throughout our culture to try to keep Christians somehow separated from the holidays. It's the winter holiday, right? It's Christmas. I don't know how many of you have, been, have, have followed it over the last week or so, but there was a very interesting incident that occurred in Kentucky. Let me start by saying, uh, many years ago, back in 1965, one of the TV networks entered into a contract with Charles Schultz to do a television Christmas show, a Charlie Brown Christmas, we all remember it. We should remember it because it is the most popular Christmas program of all time, the Charlie Brown Christmas. 
One thing you may not know is this. CBS told Charles Schultz that they wanted to take out of his cartoon the words of Linus from the Gospel of Luke. And to his credit, Charles Schultz said, no, I'm not going to take it out. Take it or leave it. And they decided they wanted to have the show. And so it went on. And again, it has been the most popular Christmas show of all time. In Kentucky, over the last week and a half or so, there has been a controversy. Because one of the schools in Kentucky wanted to do the play A Charlie Brown Christmas. And they got themselves ready to do it. And then one person, one person said that they were offended by it, by the words of the Gospel of Luke. And they complained to the school district. And their response was, you're right. We should take it out. And so, the play went on. But you know what happened? At the point at which Charlie Brown says, isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is really about? Every person in the audience stood up. Every person stood up. And they recited something. This is what they recited. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring unto you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And my friends, to steal a lie from Linus, that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it? May the praise be to Jesus.